you must have heard of robotics engineers speaking of forward kinematics and inverse kinematics in industrial robots. Exactly what are they? In this animation, we are going to understand this concept. Let us take an example of this industrial robot. This robot is placed in a room which has a coordinate system represented by the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. This coordinate system is called the global coordinate system which is also called as global coordinate frame. The base of this robot has a coordinate system called as base coordinate system also called as base coordinate frame. Since the base is fixed to the floor, it is also called as fixed coordinate frame. Similarly, other parts of the robot that is lower arm and upper arm have coordinate systems called body coordinate system or body coordinate frame. Just for information, these parts are called as links which are not deformable. The tool attached to the robot has a coordinate system called as tool coordinate system or tool coordinate frame. When the robot is in the static condition, the base coordinate frame and tool coordinate frame will not move. Once the robot moves, the nature of these frames will change. These frames are described using points that have the most important data, the position and the orientation of each robot part. For example, let us take points P1, P2 and P3. Points P1 and P2 are associated with body coordinate systems whereas P3 is associated with the tool coordinate system. If the points P1 and P2 are known, then P3 can be calculated. In other words, if the positions and orientations of upper arm L1 and lower arm L2 are known, one can calculate the position and orientation of the tool T. This process of calculation is called as forward kinematics, FK. A set of linear equations in the form of matrices needs to be solved to obtain the solution, which is easy to compute. The point P3 will be relative to the base coordinate frame. On the contrary, if the point P3 is known, then P1 and P2 can be calculated. In other words, if the position and orientation of the tool T are known, one can calculate the positions and orientations of upper arm L1 and lower arm L2. This process of calculation is called as inverse kinematics IK. A set of nonlinear equations needs to be solved to obtain the solution which is difficult and often requires computers. The points P1 and P2 will be relative to the base coordinate frame.